Hey everybody, I'm Dan. This is my beautiful wife, Annie. And we are day 12 to departure day, the day of moving into this and living the full-time van life from leaving the beautiful home that we were renting in Vancouver Island and getting on the road for circumstances unforeseen. <laughs> we'll see what happens. So today we're talking about the fact that People who've been following along our story know that five months ago, I um, was diagnosed with stage four cancer at a, in an emergency and had surgery, open spine surgery and fused discs and a giant tumor in my spine and all that stuff. And... Part of what you, this is the second time that then had right. cancer. Okay, I forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. So this is the second go around. And six years ago, when my in my first go around, one of the first things we did when I had been diagnosed was to go to Barnes and Noble and find everything we could, every book we could about self healing and what I can do and food as medicine and yeah. all of that stuff because we we just knew there has to be more than just taking the doctor's word for it. You yeah. know, we wanted to learn. We have, that's just our ways. We want to learn everything we can about it. And one of the books that jumped out at me is a book called Radical Remission by Dr. Kelly Turner. The and, link is in the description below. Right. And um, she talks about the nine key factors that a thousand people, a thousand cases that she studied of people who had late stage cancer, stage four cancer, and healed themselves through a combination of adhering or adopting these nine factors. Right. One of those factors is in the book, it's, it's factor number seven, something I've just been talking about with some people today. And it's embracing social support. And it's kind of, a, that was a tough one for me um, because I've always been a pretty private guy, you know, even though I'm pretty outspoken in public and stuff, I'm more of an introvert and it's really hard for me to ask for help. So during this go around, we really, we broke out that book again and looked and said, what do we have to do to make this thing work? You know, what, what do we have to do in order to grow from this, and gain something from this experience? And that one really jumped out at us is embracing social support. So- And we took a lot of that as asking for help. Asking for help. And it took many forms. Uh, one of them was a, um, a funding campaign. Anyway, that was a big step for us. But here, as we're getting ready to transition into this utility trailer, I have been really posting, I mentioned it before, in the local network on Facebook and asking for different things. It's just the magic, again, of things that are happening from opening up to asking for help and embracing social support. And the first one that happened was that like we mentioned before, we had to sell our Subaru and Dan's motorcycle in order to be able to afford to buy a utility trailer and upgrade our Subaru to something stronger, which is a Toyota 4Runner. So we sold the two and we were able to just swap equal amount to get us set up for this. But in the transition of selling and looking for what we needed, we didn't have the money in the middle to either buy a new anything unless the other vehicle were sold, but we, it was not in the budget to be able to rent a car nowadays with the crazy prices. So I actually posted in the network here and asked, anybody has any suggestions? <laughs> like places that are inexpensive or who knows, I dare ask, maybe somebody would be willing to lend us their car in the interim. And two women reached out, private message, and offered, one offered a truck that was on their farm and said, I can call my insurance, I'll have it, I'll change the insurance so that it can not only do farm work, but go on the road, willing to do all that for us. Another woman reached out and said, I have a little Mercedes sitting in the front of my house and I'm really not using it, just come on over. Just come on over and get it. And we went over and she didn't even ask for our IDs yeah. or anything. She just came out essentially with the keys and said, here you go, use it for as long as you want. 
Yeah. Bring it back when it. you're done. That was it. And, that and was the it. conversation, like she's enlightened, like you know, when we approached, we didn't ex we didn't know what to expect from that person, but the beautiful conversations we had just about spirit and how to our perspectives on life and awareness and consciousness and all that, it was really magical. So we had this amazing gift that allowed us to sell the Subaru, the bike, and get what we needed. And today is another amazing thing that happened. So today we're actually doing a big garage sale um, great organization, all the things in order, everything's posted online and everything, nobody's showing up. It's like the first beautiful weekend of the summer mm. and it's a total flop. So <clears throat> I think tomorrow or Monday, everything's going to the Salvation Army because it's time to move on. But somebody else reached out because I posted, right now the trailer is completely empty except for some cabinets in the front. And we said the minimum of what we need is a bed platform so that we can put bins of things under and have a platform to sleep. It's like minimum thing that we need to leave. So I posted on the network again and I asked, we really again asked for help and dance tools when he was, when he got to the hospital in Florida, when he was diagnosed with stage four cancer and he was working there, the people he was working with stole all, all his tools because they figured he was dying. So <laughs> it was great. It's great. <laughs> it was just great. It's a great so, way to get out of a particular business. You get yeah. sick and have your coworkers steal all your tools. Yeah. If that's not a sign that you're done with that work, I don't know what is. Yeah. So that was another little shocking episode. But anyway, so we're here. We don't really have tools. We don't have the time because there's 12 days left and we don't have money to actually hire a professional to come and do that kind of work. So posted on the network and somebody answered, came by today, looked at this, started making little sketches and thing, and we're going down tonight because he said, you will have a bed frame before yeah. you leave. And he's a fine finished cabinet, what would you call it? Fine millwright work or finished carpentry in yeah. yachts. Yeah. In yachts. So, so so this is just, that's what we wanted to come and say. Not so much talk about the failure of our <laughs> of our garage sale, which is interesting in itself. It's okay, it's time to let things go even more. But just to say that the magic continues and this thing of embracing social support is something that's opening up our hearts a lot. And I think that will also open hours to help others mm -hmm. even more like look for more ways to help people because once you receive mm -hmm. you also just feel like giving even more so so great stuff 12 days before d-day and uh that wait ba day big adventure day big adventure <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see you again tomorrow see, see you folks love you <laughs>